What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Med School Mondays with Promo. As usual, I'm Promo Professor Mohan. What are we going to do today? Well, today is a continuation of last week's lecture. Last week, we did all the hard stuff. We talked about this uh, intense chart. We went through all of the pathways. We talked about all the enzymes, but today we're going to do the easy stuff. We're going to do all the enzyme deficiencies. Again, if you missed last week's lecture, click on the links below. It's going to take you back to the previous lecture. So now you're wondering, how are we going to make this very, very simple? Because in medical school, this was such a pain, learning all these enzyme deficiencies, learning if it's a high blood pressure, low blood pressure, learning if the patient is going to have uh, increased increase hydrogens or decrease hydrogens. Well, I'm gonna make it easy for you right over here. And that's why I got my uh, friend, or you can say my tool over here, this uh, this orange folder, it's gonna help us a lot. But again, let's, uh, let's you know, this is the chart I want, we're gonna to complete together. Over here, what I have, I have 17 hydroxylase, the enzyme 17 hydroxylase. So as you can see from this chart over here, we have, uh, we have labeled it from last week, we said, Letter A is 17 hydroxylase. It converts pregnenolone into 17 hydroxypregnenolone, as well as progesterone into 17 hydroxyprogesterone. So we know that if we were to go down this pathway, we're gonna make lots of aldosterone. And what does aldosterone do? Aldosterone retains the sodium, gets rid of the potassium, gets rid of the hydrogen. So ultimately, aldosterone is responsible for increasing our blood pressure. So if you follow along this pathway over here, we're gonna make a lot of adrenal sex androgens. So that's important for the sexual characteristics. Now, if a boy has too much, we're gonna say precautious puberty. If the girl has too much, we say that the female has been masculinized with uh, too many male secondary sexual characteristics. Okay, so that's all we gotta know. Now, let's start it off. If we block this enzyme, we block letter A, which is 17 hydroxylase. Well, guess what? Nothing's gonna cross this way anymore. Everything's gonna go down this way. We're gonna make lots and lots and lots of aldosterone. So of course, this patient's gonna have high blood pressure. So for number 17, we see HTN representing high blood pressure. We're gonna put a check mark. Of course, high blood pressure. Now, will the patient have all these sex androgens? Well, you tell me, if nothing can go across this way, can the patient ever make these sex androgens? No. So we put an X over here, no sex androgens. Good job. The next one, 21 hydroxylase. 21 hydroxylase is converting this step over here, progesterone into 11 deoxycorticosterone, as well as 17 hydroxy progesterone to 11 deoxycortisol. These names are tongue twister, but you don't have to say them on your exam, you just gotta recognize them. Anyways, we block 21 on both sides. Guess what, you're not making any more aldosterone. You're not even gonna make cortisol for that matter, but what's gonna happen? Everything's gonna shunt this way. You're gonna make lots and lots of sex androgens. So, high blood pressure, no high blood pressure. Sex androgens, yes, lots of sex androgens. That's how simple it is, guys. That's how simple it is. And finally, our third enzyme. Our third enzyme is 11-beta-hydroxylase. Now, you ask yourselves again, 11-beta-hydroxylase, well, what is it converting? It's converting 11-deoxycorticosterone into corticosterone, as well as 11-deoxycortisol into cortisol. So, of course, you're not going to make any aldosterone. You're not going to make any cortisol. You block this enzyme. What happens? You make a lot of this stuff over here. You make a lot of the sex androgens. So, again, we take our brown marker. We give a check mark. And you're looking at the high blood pressure. Let's decide what we're going to talk do about that. Well, we block 11-beta-hydroxylase. Are we making aldosterone? No, we're not making aldosterone. However, because I know a lot of you want to say, well, now the patient's going to have low blood pressure. But remember what I said last week. Remember what I said last week. I pointed this special thing out over here. 11 deoxycorticosterone. I said it's a weak mineral corticoid. However, sometimes it acts like a strong mineral corticoid. What do we mean by mineral corticoid? Well, it, hack, it acts like aldosterone. And I wrote that down for you guys last week. So, in the event that we have normal functioning 11-beta-hydroxylase, we don't accumulate much 11-deoxycorticosterone because it goes right to the path and makes aldosterone. However, when this enzyme is deficient, 11-beta-hydroxylase, we make a lot of 11-deoxycorticosterone. And when we make a lot of it, it acts like a stronger mineral corticoid, which means it has even more aldosterone-like properties. So that means this patient will have high blood pressure. So we give it a check mark. Well, now you're saying to me, well, thank you, Promo. You just basically simplified this chart for us, but uh, you know, I still gotta memorize the chart. I still gotta know what's going which way. You know what? Uh, I want to disagree because my friend, my uh, mentor back in the Kaplan days, name was Dr. Baron, he taught us a trick and I want to show you guys that trick right now. And even for that trick, you don't even need the folder anymore, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Let me erase this check mark and all of this over here. 
I'm gonna show you a trick that doesn't matter what kind of test question you're dealing with, as long as you remember this trick, you are set for the test. Now looking at these numbers, we see that there's a digit in the first place and a digit in the second place. What do you want to remember? You want to remember that if there's, is, if there's a number one in the first digit, that number one corresponds to high blood pressure. If there's a number one in the second digit, that corresponds to sex androgens. So let's start it off. 17, the enzyme 17 hydroxylase, if it's deficient. Is there a one in the first place? Yes, there is. So we say, yes, high blood pressure. Is there a one in the second place? No, so we say, no sex androgens or low sex androgens. 21, 21 hydroxylase deficiency. Is there a one in the first place? Of course not, it's a two, so we say, no high blood pressure. Is there one in the second place? Of course there is. So we say an increase in sex androgens. And this one is easy because both of them have one, so we know it's gonna be high blood pressure and it's gonna be increase in sex androgens. And to make that even simpler for you, you know, if you're a visual learner, just remember all of the ones, give it an arrow pointing upwards. Give it that arrow. So that arrow reminds you, that arrow means increase high blood pressure, increased sex androgens. That's it guys, that's it. Now we've even taken this and simplified it into this little box over here. That's all you're gonna memorize for your USMLE step one and you will ace all of those questions. So, I wanna thank you guys again for joining me this week. Next week what are we gonna do? We're gonna talk about the adrenal medulla, we're gonna talk about uh, uh, the neuroblastoma as well as pheochromocytoma. In case you missed last week's lecture, again, highly suggest that you click the link and follow through and catch up for sure. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, definitely like this video, comment on sections below, and share the video with all of your friends. Don't keep the knowledge just to yourself. Share the video with all of your friends. Anyways, I want you guys to all have a great week, and we'll see you next week on Med School Mondays with Promo.